Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. Uh, some time ago, during the main storyline, we went to the Throat of the World to meet Parthenax. And if you haven't got that far yet, then please have a look at the walkthrough I did for you uh, earlier on. Anyway, I left a little detail out, and that was a unique item called the Notch Pickaxe, found right at the very peak of the Throat of the World. Now, I'd actually done a video on this in some new software I'm trying to learn on. But for some reason I just can't get the audio right so I'm redoing this in my old editor. Now I must admit that I really didn't see the potential of this item until recently so I decided to, I had to get my arse into gear. So here we are. Now before I get on with the video please take some time to subscribe to the channel and if you like it go ahead and press that like button. If there's something you don't like or there's something you'd like me to do then let me know i'm open to constructive criticism and new ideas and i'll respond to each and every comment and it's really great chatting with people from all over the world so all that being said let's crack on so here we are just had our little chat with parthenax and all we've got to do is turn around face the top of the uh, mountain and just run i don't think i meant to do that um yeah, just keep on running and running and running and jumping and hitting that space bar, whatever your jump button is, uh, and eventually you'll get to the top here. Uh, it's a real annoying little process, but you will get there. Okay. And the pickaxe is literally at the bottom of that peak. Now there's a couple of uh, good little uh, ore veins here. A malachite ore vein and right at the top where the pickaxe is is an ebony vein as well so pick up the notch pickaxe whatever you do don't kick it off the uh, top of the mountain I nearly did that <laughs> that was close so okay let's have a look at what we got here okay so uh, obviously this is classified as a weapon um, it's got a damage of 10, which is, uh, well, that's okay. It's probably better than some things. Um, and it does six shock, shock damage to enemies. But the thing that I'm looking at is it raises a, a wielder's smithing abilities, I think, by five points. Now, at first of all, I thought that doesn't really sound much. However, that stacks. So whatever perks or enchantments you've got, that will make a huge difference. So let's uh, take this back to my crafting place and uh, see exactly what we can do with it. Okay, here we are. Now, the first thing I want to see and show you is that we can't disenchant this thing, which is a real shame because you can du dual enchantment. Imagine if you put this enchantment on all your smithing gear. Well, wow, that would make a, a, a massive difference, but as you can see, uh, sadly you can't. Now you could, I think, on the vanilla Skyrim, uh, special edition but I think when you put the patch on which you do need that you do need that patch um, obviously that's uh, stops us being able to do that sadly okay so let's actually look at the smithing stuff okay another thing I want to uh, say as well is uh, when you smith with the notch pickaxe and you're not you haven't got any smithing gear or enhanced smithing potions it makes very very little difference uh, well actually basically no difference at all it's only when you start putting on your gear and taking potions then the difference becomes uh, more pronounced as you can see I did one without uh, the notch pickaxe and one with and exactly the same okay so we do this now with full smithing gear and uh, potions so what i'll do is i'll give the notch pickaxe to uh Genesa. okay and just give it to her where are you little bugger there you go thank you very much Genesa. are you ready <laughs> okay Quick save before I do this, because what I'm going to do is go back and re-enchant these with the notch pickaxe. Take a potion. Glug glug. And uh, let's see what we can do with the swords now. That's 130. And that's not bad. 
that's pretty good by anybody's standards. Now, as you can see, I'm not a one-handed warrior. Um, that's uh, so I don't have many perks in one-handed at all. So, you imagine, you know, with a few perks, they're very decent. Okay. So let's grab the uh, notch pickaxe uh, back off, Genesa. It is what you wish. It is what I wish, Genesa. It is what I wish. Thank you very much. Okay, right, let's give this uh, a crack. Go. Come on, bugger off, Genesa. Get him away. Okay, let's hook up the uh, notch pickaxe. Where are you, my little lovely? Nope, nope, nope. There you are. Hook that up. Okay, and let's glug down another potion. Nom 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 nom. Lovely. And let's see what this uh, does. There you go, 138. That's eight more. Okay, now the key thing here is when you add on enchantments and perk points, it's exponentially um, where you get your increases as well. So you've got eight points here. I've got virtually no perks in one hand at all and certainly no gear uh, with one hand in enchantments. If I did, I'll be getting far more than just the eight points. And that's what actually makes this item so fantastic. Now, a lot of players don't actually bother um, getting this uh, item and, uh, and an awful lot don't even bother um, using it when they smith. And I say, yeah, use it. It's, it's, this is uh, actually a really good item to have. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enchant these two swords for Genesa. And I think I can go for uh, Paralyze and Shock. Nom nom. I'm slow on uh, my enchants, and I shouldn't do, because I do a lot of it. There you go. Come on, come on. And Soul Gem, nice black Soul Gem, nom nom. And enchant it. Some people get several items out of one potion. Um, I don't, because I'm rubbish. And we do it again. And there you go, Ebony Sword, and we go for uh, Paralyze and Shock. Quite a good combination, actually, to be fair. And yes. And what I, the reason why I've done these, I'm going to give them to uh, Genesa, because as you're probably watching, my style is uh, mainly archery or knife work. So. Uh, Let's see how she likes these. Now she dual wield, wield. Um, I'm not sure if she'll dual wield these two swords, so we'll see. Okay, Jensa, let's uh, have this happy birthday. There you go. Right, let's see what happens when... Uh... Okay, if I pull out my weapon, which I'll use all these uh, dragon bait, that'll do. Pull that out. And she pulls out a bow. <laughs> yeah, um, that wasn't really worked out as well as I wanted it to. Uh, the only choice I've got is to take that bow off her and um, yeah, it's a damn good bow, so I'm not gonna do that. I think I'll take these for myself. So let's go and see exactly what they do. And I've got the perfect example taken on soon at uh, Southern Guard. And uh, he's a big bust, isn't he? And little Neve just kicks his ass. You're my bitch. <laughs> so these are good swords. Anyway, the point of this is just to show you that the Notch Pickaxe actually is a genuinely a really worthwhile uh, unique item to grab. Sadly, it's quest locks, but hey ho, if you're doing the quest, grab it. Anyway, fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.